sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management. Hi, I'm Chris Lopez, technical marketing engineer for Catchpoint. For today's tech tip, I'm going to be going over use cases unique to our real user monitoring or RUM solution. If you're not familiar, Catchpoint provides users a lot of ways to analyze critical application and website performance metrics. And while you're going to get a lot of mileage out of recording and replaying transactions with our synthetic offering, it doesn't change the fact that live data is essential to understanding real digital experiences. So over the course of this tech tip, I'm going to be going over the nature of real user monitoring, why it's complementary to synthetic monitoring, and what situations you'd use it in. Then I'm going to show you how a RUM tag is built inside of a Catchpoint lab, and we're going to go over a real Catchpoint RUM dashboard, and we'll see what it can tell you about your user's digital experience. Let's hop in. So what's the difference between RUM and synthetic monitoring? Well, synthetic monitoring is like a scripted recording of a web transaction, right? Any traffic that's generated as a result of a synthetic test is coming from a test node instead of an actual user. Now, there's a lot of value in synthetic testing, just from the sheer number of node types and the number of tests that you can run that help you visualize what may be going wrong with your user's digital experience. But I want to point out that this doesn't take into account devices that the user controls, and it doesn't happen in real time. RUM is going to look at the user's device and browser in real time and monitor their experience with a specific website. RUM is deployed as a JavaScript tag directly in the web page or through our secure API. And once that data is fed back into Catchpoint, Catchpoint provides real-time insights into how quickly your users were able to access certain web pages and if there's any transactional or geographic issues occurring. Once it's deployed, you'll be able to visualize load times in real time, and you'll be able to monitor performance between different OSs and browsers and put the user back in user experience. Now that we've cleared that up, I want to show you what it looks like when I build a RUM tag inside a Catchpoint SaaS platform. Here, inside Catchpoint, I'm taking the role of a user trying to create a new RUM tag to add to their website. I'm here in the appropriate menu, and I'm going to define a new site that the RUM tag will be applied to. I'm going to define what Catchpoint will monitor, and also a number of criteria that I'll briefly touch upon before moving on. Obviously, we have to give this new site a name, and we'll also define what domain Catchpoint is going to be looking at. This is mostly for security, as it validates the domain while it's receiving data to weed out bad actors and misconfigurations. It also has options to ignore known bots and spiders and mask IP upon transmission. Next are a lot of settings that affect how the data is captured and represented, like truncating URLs in order to correlate data from relevant entries into one result. Something like that would be useful for high volume websites like e-commerce as they can use RUM tags to evaluate each step of their web transactions at scale. Down here, we assign this traffic sample rate. It's pretty simple. Do you want your tag to look at every visitor or just a small subset of them? And below that, you'll be able to sculpt what kind of insights you're looking for with the trace point and indicator fields. And you'll also be able to assign discrete page groups for your site. There's a bit more to it in the details, but once it's all filled out, Catchpoint will generate the tag. When the tag loads in my site, it's going to hit the code in the HTML, make a request out to Catchpoint, and once it's been established, it'll feed RUM data into the platform. Now, you've seen how it's built, but what does RUM tell you? Well, let's take a look at a dashboard. Here, we're looking at a dashboard that's using both synthetic and RUM data to evaluate site health. Let's take a look at a few sections here. The most obvious section is top center, with average time to visually complete. It looks like that's a bit higher than they want it to be since the result is showing up red. But this result was calculated from RUM data, and it's being calculated live as we speak. To the right, we can see a geographic map of where all these page views are coming from, and I'll be able to identify which countries are experiencing unacceptable load times or delays. Below those, we have two bar graphs of major web metrics from both synthetic and RUM datasets, and we'll be able to compare the synthetic tests in the last hour to similar RUM data and compare results. For example, for average time to first spike in synthetic, it looks like LA and Iowa City have the highest load times. But according to RUM data, California and Iowa are doing just fine. 
so it may have been something to do with the specific test node that ran instead of a genuine problem. As we keep going down, you'll see a lot of other metrics that were being calculated here, like average time to interactive, average time to visually complete, average response time, both in synthetic and with RUM data. You'll see similar data from other countries in these time series widgets, and then at the bottom comes a very crucial aspect of Catchpoint, breaking down how long each segment of your web transaction takes to complete. From going to the home page to content, shipping, billing, these are all important things to know if they're taking a long time, because that could definitely be affecting your user's decision to buy. As you've seen, real user monitoring helps you keep a closer eye on your user's digital experience because it provides metrics that recorded transactions might not be able to capture. Now, there are a lot of use cases involving ROM and different metrics that I'd love to show you, but that's all the time we have for today. So I'll just leave us with the thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you at the next one. Sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management.